During the time of pharaohs in ancient Egypt, several brutal punishments were used to maintain order and control over the population. In this video, we showcase eight of the most brutal punishments used in the Egyptian empire. The crucifixion popularized by the Bible was actually Egyptian by design, a brutal punishment during the Egyptian empire and the time of the pharaohs. The victim would be tied or nailed to a wooden cross and then left out in the open exposed to the elements. This method of execution had intense suffering on the plate, which also served as a deterrent to potential criminals. The victim would endure excruciating pain as her body weight strained against the nails or ropes, leading to asphyxiation and a slow death. This was a lengthy process and it is never a good way to die. But what about a mutilation? It was indeed a brutal punishment. All one could do was watch as the torturer intentionally removes body parts such as limbs or ears as a means of punishment and social statement. The act of mutilation permanently disables the individual, leaving them physically impaired and also marked as a freak or an outcast within the society. This form of punishment was done as though they were busking, publicly showcasing the consequences of disobedience or criminal behavior. Next up is decapitation. A commonly used method of execution in the Egyptian Empire and just about anywhere. Even though it was swift and decisive, it was aimed at the watchers as the removal of the offender's head from their body meant a quick exit, but the gorish view wasn't a pleasant sight. Typically, a sharp blade, such as a sword or an axe, was used to sever the head in one swift motion. Decapitation provided a relatively quick and brutal death for the condemned individual, often resulting in immediate loss of consciousness and ultimately ending their life. The rule of the pharaohs was brutal, and it served as a deterrent to others who might rebel against the pharaohs or dared defy or challenge their authority. Flaying was a common punishment in many other civilizations, and also it was prevalent in the Egyptian empire during the time of pharaohs. If you've seen the movie Martyrs, flaying involves meticulous remo removal of the skin from a person's body. The victim would be stripped naked, tied down, and subjected to the painstaking process of having their skin peeled off. The slow and torturous nature of flaying prolonged the suffering of the individual, often leading to a protracted and agonizing death. Impalement was indeed a brutal punishment and it was used during the time of the pharaohs as well. The punishment where the victim was subjected to insertion of a long spike or pole right through their body, with the entry point often being through the rectum or other sensitive areas. The spike would gradually go deeper into the body, causing immense pain every millimeter and leading to a slow growing pain before the ultimate death. Impalement was used as a means to instill fear, assert dominance, and deter others from committing similar offenses. Dismemberment was another one that made it to the brutal punishment list used as a punishment back in the Egyptian Empire during the time of the pharaohs. It involved the deliberately cutting or tearing apart of the victim's body into separate pieces while the person is still alive. This method was sadistic and the inflictors wanted the victim to be in excruciating pain and suffering all while the entire town was watching. Just to make it clear, there were no popcorn sellers and spectators that were at the edge of their seats if they had one. Number 7. We have burning at the stake. In this method, the offender would be tightly bound to a wooden pole or stake in front of the townspeople and then set on fire. As the flames engulfed their body, they would simply leave the victim to be burned alive. While it might seem that is all that would happen, within the flames the combination of the heat and the smoke would lead to suffocation, further adding to the torment and burning, sucks in all the oxygen, and you're basically breathing smoke and fumes of your own body. This method of execution aimed not only to inflict physical agony, but also to create a terrifying show of torment that would instill fear and discourage others from committing similar offenses. Lastly, death by stoning was as brutal as it sounds. A form of punishment utilized during the time of the pharaohs, it was simple but forced mob mentality as it involved the gathering of a group of people who would throw stones at the offender until they succumbed to the injuries inflicted. This was a form of public humiliation and the victim was subjected to intense physical pain as the stones struck their body, causing fractures, lacerations, and eventually leading to their death. Death by stoning was not only as a means of punishment but also a good aiming practice for future soldiers. All of these punishments were designed to punish and warn other commoners of, of the fate that awaits a pharaoh traitor. These punishments were used in the Egyptian Empire as a way to enforce laws, maintain social order, and demonstrate the power of authority of the pharaohs. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this.